Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers, and welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We are making some straw bales. Uh, yes, I went back to the cabin and had some lunch. I called the barn and asked, uh, do they have any need for some straw bales I could bring over? And they kind of him and hawed, and I said, well, I was coming over with some silage bales. And they said, well, since you're bringing over silage bales, yes, we will accept some straw bales. So um, it kind of worked out for both of us, I guess. Uh, they don't really need straw bales. That's why the price has been going down. But since they kind of need the silage bales, I guess they, they're willing to accept some straw bales to get the silage bales. But uh, we're just about done doing the straw. I actually got a lot of bales off this field for... I mean, I think I got more bales than wheat, uh, kind of. I think I can probably grab enough more straw to make another bale. See if I can here. Uh, maybe not, because I keep forgetting that this is a 20,000 liter baler that we have. So that's going to require a lot of straw to get another bale out of it. I did get a grass bale because I had so much grass in the baler when I started. So I got a grass bale sitting over here. I'm probably not going to wrap it. It's not worth getting up my wrapper to wrap it. But I'll place it aside so next time I do the grass field, I'll have an extra bale to go along with it. Uh, let me go ahead and spit out the one that I have sitting there. Make a trip to the end of the field because I kind of have to anyways to bring it back to the shed I don't think I get another 6,000 liters off of this field with straw but we'll see what we can get off of it but I definitely need to clear this field so I can bring our cedar over and uh, well plant something uh, I haven't quite figured out what yet but I'll plant something in it I mean I could just do cotton again have two cotton fields over here But I kind of would like to see what our pigs are going to require for food. I mean, I might have to do... Hmm. I don't know. I think I think we'll just go with cotton at first. I mean, we're going to be fine on the pigs for a while because we're selling 180... No, wait, 160... 168 pigs is what we're going to be selling, so... Yeah, their food's going to look fine for a while. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just plant cotton in there. Then a couple days time we can really get a hold on how our pigs are doing. And that way with the extra cotton we'll have some more money, obviously. And that's kind of the goal right now. Bring in some cash. I'm hoping by the end of this episode we'll be over the half million mark so I can pay off some of our loan. I do have the John Deere doing a contract right now. We're getting paid something like $4,500 to Weed Field 32, which is the one over right next to our cow pasture. And last I looked, by the way, the silage price at the barn is $221 and still climbing. So, yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't have to stop at all. It can just keep going. <laughs> but... I don't see it going higher than 240. Although it's been a while, let me just double check here. Because, I mean, that'd be fantastic if it got that high. Uh, yeah, it, okay, must have stopped right last time I looked at it. So, 221. So, we can pick up all the bales and bring it on over. Oh, yeah, and I should see how much is the straw going for? Uh, 30, well, 37, 36, and dropping. So, obviously, let's pick up the straw bales first. I'm not going to make a whole lot of money off it, but it is cash coming in to help probably pay off some of our uh, fees for hiring workers today. And then we'll sell the solid bales. I mean, that price should stay, stay steady for quite a while. Put this in the working position. Just got to make sure I don't pick up my grass bale. Make some loops around here. 
I wonder if I... I don't think I got 16 bales, but uh, I might have. Oh, come on. You wanted to be picked up. You know you did. Thank you. Well, I created more bales than I thought I did. I got a full trailer of straw here. And I got two bales left over. Let's go ahead and see what I can get for a full trailer. 16 bales at 20,000 liters a piece. Probably more straw than what the barn wanted, but since I'm bringing in silage bales later, they're going to have to take this stuff. Take it. And... Uh, 5, 8, 10... We'll say somewhere around 11,500. Somewhere around there. Not bad. That's going to definitely help uh, pay for our wages for the day. And I got two more straw bales to go, but next time it's going to be straw bales and silage bales. And that one bale up there, that's our grass bale. Oh, now you fold up. It took you that long to fold up, huh? I was like, okay, it's not going to fold up. It's going to stay down. Nope. Fold up just as I got here. All right, now time to pick up the money. This should be good. That would be great. Uh, more than that would be even better. But <laughs> yeah, the reason 350 because I'm going to sell the pigs later on. There we go. 358. Perfect. So yeah, so when I sell the pigs later on, that should put us over a half million. Which we. Well, yeah, I got to put the. Put that down there, Peanut. There you go. Um, yeah, so I can pay off some of the loan today. It does look like. We also have a cotton still sitting around. Uh, but that price there, I haven't checked on in a while. I think it finally got back up in the 1200s. Could sell that as well to really help us because I think we got like 70,000 liters of cotton right now sitting around. So maybe when I park this up, I'll have a quick look-see and uh, we'll see what the cotton price is doing. I think our John Deere is done weeding field 32. That was a contract for $4,500. Uh, but my next job for us is to get the seed roll over here and get that wheat field that we had seeded to, I do believe I said cotton, and I think I'm going to stick to that for now. Um, yeah, definitely seed up some cotton, and uh, that way in a couple days we'll have loads of cotton to sell. Uh, the reason why, I th it was either going to be cotton or a root crop, because bringing the harvester over kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to keep the harvester over there our grain harvester, and I want to bring the root crop harvester over here along with the cotton harvester, which is already over here. So that's kind of the way I want to do it, but we'll have to see how it goes, like everything else. It's nice to see the money going back up, but definitely I was hoping just for a little bit more nap, but that's not too bad. Let me turn that off and let's go in here and keep her eye on the wool price. $13.15 and climbing. I like that. Um, the milk price is going up as well. 
I think of some of the, if these get up in the 800s, you know, 850s, um, we could sell, I mean, 241,000 liters of milk we got. So, yeah, I could be doing that. Uh, we'll need to go in here, contract completed, collect that. Um, I'm just looking for contracts that are in fields thir in the 30s here. Yeah, field 34 and 35, no one wants to, for some reason, sow those fields. <laughs> I mean, 34 is not that big, but I don't want to sow that. I mean, I did a sewing contract on here without doing the fertilizer, and I think I made a profit of like $2,000. And I'm like, yeah, now i got to repair my equipment, and it cost me just as much to repair it. All right, so since I'm still in the fence, I think I'll just head on over. I'm going to go grab my seed drill. And uh, let me just double check here. I don't think that field needs anything. No, it does not. It needs absolutely nothing except for some love. Uh, it needs some seed. Uh, yeah, I need to go grab my seed drill, fill it up, come back over, get some cotton in that field. And, uh, yeah, then maybe after that, not maybe, but after that, I think it's time to sell some pigs. And maybe even sell some cotton. And then, yeah, I think uh, repay just a little bit of our loan off. And uh, who knows, maybe we pay enough of it off that when midnight comes, we won't be paying more than $140,000. Well, after moving the grass bale out of this field with my brute strength, yeah, 20,000 liter bales, no no problem for this peanut. Uh, <laughs> I just lift anything, Ma, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, picked, I kind of forgot about the bale. I was going to, when I had the auto loader out, I was going to come back over and grab the grass bale and dump it somewhere, and I kind of forgot, so... Instead of dis, you know, disconnecting everything, and I was already seeding, actually. <laughs> I was like, oh, the grass bale. And instead of going back over and grab the, the auto loader, I'm like, I'll just pick it up and put it over here. No one will mind. Uh, yeah, so over here with our seed drill, putting in some cotton, I did uh, get our artificial fertilizer sprayer going on our canola field over there. He's done with his first one. He's got two more to go, but uh, he's not doing nothing now because I haven't hired him yet. But after paying for a seed and everything, yeah, we're, we're back down to almost $350,000. But looks like we're going to sell some cotton and uh, obviously the pigs as well. And I'll be interested to see after we sell the pigs how the food kind of looks. But I have to keep in mind that within, I'm going to say, five days or so, we probably will have as many pigs once again. All right, so I have to turn a little bit wider next time because I missed this a little bit. That's probably like 50 liters of cotton right there. Maybe not even that much, but yeah, got to make sure we get all the field that we can. Uh, yeah, so now that we get, we're, you know, we're slowly expanding our fields, uh, getting our animals, mostly their feed troughs are full and, um, and filled up I can start putting some crops in these fields that we can turn around and sell later on which is definitely going to help uh, yeah because after today I'm flying back home back to Mercury Farms I'm going to do some work on there for a few days uh, before I come back here uh, I'm hoping to get a lot of cash at Mercury Farms so I can transfer some funds over and buy another field over here now there was a comment <laughs> I don't remember what video it was. I think the one on Tuesday of, uh, you know, you think for fifth, you know, for me buying the farm and having a $50 million loan that the town should have gave me, you know, a little bit more fields. Uh, we have to take in mind the town does not own any other fields. Those are owned by other farmers. If you go back to the beginning, uh, the town sold off a lot of the land to other farmers and the town owned the fields that they own and is what we own now. So, yeah, if they wanted to give me more land, they couldn't have because they would have to buy the land back from the other farmers before they could uh, hand it over to me for the wonderful price that I, I'm paying for this farm. So I missed a little bit there as well. Yeah, the seed I'm so used to the horse and uh, turning on a dime. This seed roll does not quite turn as well. We're not missing much. Yeah, so I think I might need, I might just bring the John Deere over and weed that field over there. Save myself some money on some herbicide. I mean, I, I try to look at it one way or the other. The John Deere does not, does, won't use herbicide with the weeder. 
but it'll take longer, so I'll pay the worker longer. Of course, if I do it, then I don't pay nothing other than the repair fees on everything. If I do it with a herbicide sprayer, I'll be done in like two minutes. So, but I'm paying for the herbicide. Yeah, it's a fine line of uh, is it worth it kind of a thing. Looks like that sunflower field over there is ready. How nice would it be to buy that right now and harvest it and sell it. Yeah, so I'm, I need to get back to Mercury Farms. Uh, I want to plant sunflower in that big field. And, uh, and of course, in a couple days, we'll be able to harvest that and make some good cash. I think Mercury Farms has like 150000 in the bank account. So I need like another 450000 which is a big, big ask for that farm. Um... Unless I got, I can't remember if I got eggs, a lot of eggs uh, ready to go. Um, I think the wool is doing pretty good on that farm. But yeah, hopefully in a few days, if I can get up to $600,000, and when we come back here, I can buy another field. And of course, another field is being more crops. So like I said before, Mercury Farms, that extra money we earn from there will buy fields for over here. And any money that we make on this farm goes off to paying off the loan. At some point, though, it'll be the money I get from Mercury Farms will just help pay off some of the loan as well. Because it gets to be a point when you're you know, playing a single player, um, how many fields you can actually have. Well, let me rephrase that. As a single player trying to do YouTube videos, you can't... <laughs> I mean, if I owned every field here, I can't show work in every field. I just... It would just take forever. So yeah, I think at some point, uh, yeah, the money from Mercury Farms is going to help pay off the loan. And really, at some point, what's going to happen is I'll. Hmm, the way it's going to be is uh, eventually I'll be moving here and selling Mercury Farms off. That's because uh, flying back and forth is not going to be feasible. I'm just going to get jet lagged. That's why last week staying, or of course, you know, last week staying completely at Mercury Farms wasn't wasn't good just to catch up on some rest and not flying back and forth and jet lag, but uh, I wasn't needed here. But it was a good week, I don't want to say a good week off, because we worked all week on Mercury Farms, so. I'm hoping that canola, pr uh, not canola price, cotton price is still going up. Nope, that's the wrong button. Uh, that's the right button. Fat fingers. I'm supposed to hit the Alt and X key, and I hit the Windows key. Yeah, so it looks like the basically all we can uh, do for the rest of the day is finish seeding off this field, sell off the pigs and sell off some cotton and then make a trip to the bank and transfer some funds over from our bank account over to the loan now got to remember though our loan is being paid off to the bank we don't we're not dealing with the investors at all because the investors uh did not want nothing to do with us because they couldn't see our financial books i'm like what 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 no thank you i'm good that's my bid to the town um uh-huh <laughs> My financial books are my financial books. Keep your nose out of there. So the way the grass is growing, looks like another 24 hours I'll be able to cut that grass over there and make some more silage bales. And eventually that cotton field probably... And 36 hours will be ready for harvest. Part of me wants to wait until this field's ready. But we'll just have to uh, see how it all goes. Because like I said, I'm leaving later on this evening. Back to Mercury Farm. So this, this farm will be kind of vacant for a couple days. Good old Frank will be in charge. Uh, just keeping an eye on the fields. Uh, an eye on the animals. But also when I get back, I got those wheat fields up there on the upper plateau I got to take care of. 
I mean, usually I would like to harvest those kind of fields before I leave, and Frank can go ahead and pick up the straw in the meantime, but it is what it is. Doing these big, big fields down here first is more important to me because uh, they're bigger and they bring in more cash. Obviously. Well, it worked out just perfect for us for using the GPS because the width was perfect for the field. Just perfect. Uh, turn that off, flip it up, fold it up. And we can turn GPS back off. Uh, for now, I'm just going to park the seed drill over here. Because I may get to reseed this cotton field before those canola fields are ready. So probably the seed drill will be needed over here first. Just going up and over the bridge, I mean, it's fine. I think I showed you once before going over the bridge with traffic. Uh, you can sneak through just fine. The Cedro does take up quite a bit amount of the road when you go over that bridge. I'm also thinking, I'm making a whole, uh, text Frank before I leave and uh, see if he's comfortable running the tree harvester. Um, if not, I'll hire someone to cut down more trees over by our log cabin. Um, I need a lot of trees cut over there, not for the money, I mean the money would be nice, uh, but I need some trees cut down for my future plans here. So at some point I need that to be done. Uh, for now, like I said, I'm going to park the seed drill and fent tractor right here. Uh, let's go ahead here and see. Cotton price is still going up, alright. Uh, how about our pigs? Well, our pen hold is at 495. I think our pen only actually holds 495. I keep saying 500, but I think it's 495 for this hog barn. Um, no, it does hold 500. But obviously at that point, it, it's, it's time to sell some pigs when you got, you know, six shy of it. So basically in a couple hours, I'd have a full hog barn. So yeah, it's time to grab my truck and grab the animal trailer. Come over here. Um, I think it's right in here is where I load the pigs, I think. It's time to sell some of you guys off in here. Like 168 of you to be exact, I think. I think that's what it calls for. Yeah, so, uh, let's go sell some pigs. And then, of course, we'll have our truck over here. We'll grab our cotton module. Um, I'll even spit the one out of the harvester, and we'll load those two bales up, and we'll go sell those. But uh, let me go get the truck. And uh, I'll probably meet you at the animal dealership. Uh, no sense of having you sit there watch me click my uh, mouse button 84 times to load up our trailer. So give me a moment. And here we are at the animal dealership. I turned uh, my time scale down to one because it happened to me again, uh, loading up all those pigs and then every 15 minutes in the game, uh, it, reset, it, re it redoes the animal calculation, so it took all the animals out of my trailer. Uh, I was not happy. Uh, animal dealer? No, I don't want to buy pigs. We're here to sell pigs and sell a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's probably going to be a sale on bacon and ham and pork chops around town for a couple days. Just saying, uh, has nothing to do with me selling, you know, 160 pigs at all. Uh, I do believe it's 84, but we're probably uh, getting our animal trailer to use. And confirm. So, yep, $437,000 in our bank account, and I get to make this trip one more time today. Uh, that'll put us over a half million, and then it's time to see if our cotton price has stopped going up. I mean, if it keeps going up, that's fine. Like I always say, uh, the more the merrier. But uh, we will sell some cotton at some point. I, I don't think it's going to go any... I don't, if it gets up to 1400 I'll be shocked. Um, but yeah, I got more clicking to do. And one more time. And then uh, I shouldn't be back here for at least another in-game week, I would assume. That's how long it's probably going to take the pigs to uh, get back up to 500. 
20 more to go here. Just keep on clicking. And confirm. Ah, $521,000 in the bank account. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but I did get the fertilizer sprayer going and all of our canola fields that we have on the other side of the river are now fully fertilized. I'm pretty sure a couple of those fields are going to need some weeding done at some point. Maybe Frank will take care of that while we're gone. He likes doing those kind of jobs. Uh, the bigger jobs, like I said, the tree harvester may not be to his liking, so I may have to hire someone or may have to do it when I come back. I got to figure how big of an area I do need to clear out. Uh, because if I'm going to be staying here for more than three days at a time, that log cabin's not bad to stay in for a couple days. Um, yeah, but uh, I need I need a, a little bit better accommodations than that if I'm going to be here. Especially in the future if I plan on moving here. A better house wouldn't be that bad. Alright, so let's park that up right there for now. And hook up our cotton module trailer. And then I gotta start up the harvester and dump that bale out. Let's see how the pricing is. Oh, our pigs. Uh, the food's looking much better now uh, that we only got 328 pigs. And it still says I'm going to get one every half an hour. Uh, I got to put my time scale back up to times five. So maybe that will... No, it should have reset. So yeah, I'm still getting... I'm going to get 48 pigs per day. So 100 every two. So every four days, in a way, I should get my pigs back for sure. All right, let's go ahead and unload this bale out of here. And then we'll check the price of cotton. Let me try to get it mostly lined up to that trailer. So I just have to unfold the trailer. And while that's unfolding, we'll quickly look here. Thirteen fifty. What I may have to do is I may go ride Falcon for the day. While we're waiting for that price to uh, stop climbing. And then uh, I'll bring it back when it's time to sell these bales. Yeah, so the way the pricing is going, so it looks like I'll get over $600,000 in the bank account. So, not a bad day, for sure. Well, I've been a busy farmer. Uh, I took Falcon for his ride. He's all trained and cleaned up. And put away, I just took a contract for this field 32 for fertilizing for 14 grand. So that was uh, very nice. Uh, completed that. Uh, I also had a little spare time. I cut down maybe like five or six trees down by the log cabin. Start doing that myself, I think. Instead of hiring someone, let's do it myself. Uh, if you want something done right, uh, hire someone else. No, it's not the same. Uh, how's that go? Yeah. Do it yourself. <laughs> so that's what I did. I got the John Deere all set to go for weeding. So if Frank feels uh, up to it while we're gone, he could weed these, out these fields. No weeds in them yet, but um, he can go ahead and do that. The fields on the other side of the river, though, are starting to get some weeds into them. And the, co the first cotton field, the one that was already planted, is getting stage two weeds into it. So that will have to be done with the weeder uh, or sprayer. Uh, 1350 is the cotton price. Uh, let's, oh, uh, looks like the weeds have already started. Okay. Um, anywho, last thing we are going to do is head on over and sell these cotton bales. And then I want to make an uh, online bank transfer from our account and get rid of some of that loan. Not much of it, obviously. Um, maybe a hundred grand somewhere in that area. Baby steps. Baby steps. That's all we can do. But in a couple days time, Falcon, uh, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be hard to sell Falcon. I got him kind of attached to that horse. 
but he's not my horse. So, um, yeah, he's going to be going bye-bye in a couple days' time. And a new horse will appear. I almost forgot where I was going. I need to go over this bridge to the spinnery. Now, if you haven't been watching the Hawks Bay series, I cannot really pay off the loan on screen. I have to go edit the XML file. Uh, having a loan that big in game, the game does not understand that big of a loan. So when I go to try to pay off a little bit of the loan, the numbers just go all screwy. And uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, so I have to do it by the XML files. All right, let's go ahead and unload these bales. And what do we get for our troubles? 98,000 to bring us up to 628,000. So, looks like I'm paying off $128,000 of that loan. Uh, gotta love that. That is going to be a nice chunk of change off that loan. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to... Like I said, it's just a start. So, when the loan interest at night comes... Or the loan payment... I always say interest. Uh, loan payment comes at midnight... Uh, maybe it'll be below 140000 I don't know. I don't know. But give me one moment. I'm going to go out and edit these XML files. Uh, so we owe 50 mil... I almost said 50000 $50 million. <laughs> and uh, so when we come back, yeah, our loan should be $49 million and uh, probably 880 I think I'll pay $120,000 of that off. Yeah, so we should... Uh, We'll have just uh, over half a million dollars in our bank account. So give me just a moment. All right, so I just made the online bank transfer. So we're down to $508,000 in our bank account, which is still not bad considering where we started today. And our loan is down to $49,880,000. So that came out good uh, right there. So yeah, we made almost a half million dollars today. Not too bad. Um, any, ooh, cultivate field 33. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, anything else? Uh, don't tell me to f sow field 34 and 35 because it's not happening. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when the own farmer doesn't want to do his own field, that, that's bad. Yeah, so I got to cultivate field 33, which is not bad at all. And uh, for, you know, $7,500, we can do that no problem. But a good day's worth of work. Um, I need to head back to the cow barn, uh, get into my Chevy pickup truck, go back to the log cabin, get some rest. I got a, a red eye flight at 2 a.m. So I'm just taking a quick nap. Hopefully I don't oversleep. Um, if I oversleep, I miss my flight. Who knows? I could be here Monday. Um, so <laughs> but I really want to get back to Mercury Farm. So I'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.